wow, what an epic we've had. Um, right from Border Explorer. So I'm one of the newbies on the boat. My name is Christian. And um, we set off last week and had a fairly unfortunate start in that we got some very nasty water and we broke the boat and we had to come back in. So we're intention to leave Cape Town was postponed as we had to return. So we are now back on board heading out and it's our first night and we've been really busy all day and it seems that everybody's really into it. So we've got here Jill and Kathy are mad beavering away making supper on our first night. <laughs> poor, poor things but looking pretty happy with it managed to get a light because of course the lighting is so good here look at that look awesome uh, we've got now as well we've got Mark here just getting into his navigation Hello. Um, and we're into the charts um, and we've got bodies up here which I'm just going to uh, <laughs> you may not be able to see anything oh, blinded by the light so there we are so this is basically our first night and we're out day finally one. day day one, day, one, day Day, uh, what is it? Day less than a day. <laughs> so that, an hour, first hour. So we're going out, we're heading out into, thankfully at last, heading out. So there we are. Dinner on, watches are starting, checks are starting, uh, and the rolling routine is going to commence. So we are leaving. We're leaving, well, let's just say the other boats that left on the 5th are over 2,000 miles ahead of us. We're not in this particular chapter of the race. We are now, uh, we're going under our own steam as it were, and uh, we're gonna make the best of it. And we will do well. We're gonna have a good trip. We're gonna, we've got, going in with a cracking start. We don't have to fall under the umbrella of all of the restrictions that the main race is going under at the moment. So had that said, we will be doing it all astro and sticking to the rules of no tech and all that sort of jazz. We will be running our engine as you can hear we are at the moment when we need to because our purpose is to get the boat to Auckland so it can continue with the rest of the fleet for the rest of the race. So that's us with our day one little thing, um, little starting little starting bit. And I'll just do a little thing round. This is going to be how we live for the next few, um, few weeks, potentially months. Whale watching. Yeah. Whale watching, here we go. It's almost watch? more intriguing to watch the people watch the whales. Blowing a bit out here today. We've got the short straw team driving in 40 knots of breeze. Nice day for it though, sun shining. You're right, Hiker. So while it goes on in the state of maintenance, down here we have baking cakes. <laughs> <laughs> We get to Auckland hiker. Can oh, we make it to we're coming to Auckland next year. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Nice big
Hell, is there anyone? Right, as of the storm. <laughs> right. Have you been good? Oh yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very good. You have to answer a question. Oh no. From Santa. What's the name of the strait between That's Tasmania straight. and Australia? That's straight. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Chilling at the wheel. Awesome. Yeah, good feeling, huh? Very good. <laughs> Piece of cake. Piece of cake, huh? <laughs>
in the video. So, how how do you feel about going around the horn this time uh, with this uh, wonderful condition? <laughs> Piece of cake. Piece of cake, huh? Good. Yeah, it's better than the uh, 70 knots of wind and getting uh, knocked down. So we all enjoy our moment. It is awesome. Yeah, good feeling, huh? Very good. 